doesn't look like there's actually that much over here. nothing over here. You know what? I bet that's in the upper direction. Oh, there's more over there. I get it. I know where this is. That's like the coolest shortcut in the game. That is so cool. Also, these are broken, but that's awesome. It should be right next to the bonfire, I think. I was like, what is the point of this hallway? Well, here you go. It doesn't help me get back up, but... Am I not where I thought I was? This should be the bonfire right here. Yeah. So, found something. What else? What else could be up there? What other interesting shortcuts could be up there? Wait, is there a way to break it without the, um, the ballista? Back behind that tree. I 
And then I'm trapped. Oh, look at this. Ah. Okay. It's pretty obvious now that the guy up there who's shooting at me is from the, um, the area when you go upwards from Walnut. So I think I should go back there. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. I need to go back to the previous bonfire. I need to go to here. Not quite. In fact, we're exactly where you wanted to be because I'm about to go upwards from Walnir. I beat old old king, and uh, I'm about to head up. Just in time. And um, I think this direction is going to take me above the demon ruins, where I'm going to be able to kill the ballista guy. Um, though I, I did use the ballista guy to break open the floor in, in demon ruins. That was kind of cool. This is going to be like some land of the giants. Not what? Wait, how does this work? Look through the catacombs and I end up in Iruthil the oh, Boreal Value. Oh man, they were talking about this. Whoa. We got some like what Northern Lights business going on? Oh man. It's gorgeous. Have we been up there? Is that Cathedral of the Deep? Could it be? Oh man, it's so cool. But do I see enemies down there? <laughs> nice, Rita. The catacombs. It's snowing and... I'm curious about... Is that, um... I think about this. Road to Sacrifice was on its way to... Theater of the Deep. That might... I don't know if that's it, though. I don't think my geography is quite right. <laughs> crystals on the tree. Thank you. 
this? Nothing over here. It's like, is this showing us that the road is caved in or something? Alright. that castle up there boreal valley like the aurora borealis I feel like I'm about to get run over by a car huh? oh god oh god what in the heck It's a gaping dragon or something. It's a it's a cross between gaping dragon and watchdog. It's, oh good hit. What the heck? That's gonna hurt. Pontiff's right eye. Whoa. <laughs> it's not a car exactly. Where did he come from, man? I th think I saw this in the item screen somewhere. Boost attacks along as attacking persists. Whoa, never mind. Bewitched ring of Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights. I hope that's not one of his knights. Boost attacks along as attacking persists. Knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign Wait a second, is it the Pontiff's left eye? Well, I have really, really good damage. So, I should hope so. Oh, look at the camera pan out again. Look, see that? There, oh, there it is. It's actually zooming in on my character. Look at that. I don't, I don't know if I like that. I guess for such a wide scene, you need it. Very cool. It's like perpetually nighttime here. Whoa. Is that a fog wall? Wait, what? What is here? Walked right by it. How did I walk right by it? Everything's too white here. Wait, what is... Oh, that's the uh, Aurora effect. not get through there without beating that guy? Is, is that why they... Is this old dude? Is that why they set it up with the bonfire so close? Rhyme blue moss clump. Wait, oh, this is going to be prevents... Uh, um, frostbite buildup. 
Hey Rival, yo! Thanks for coming. Hopefully you're farther than this so you can watch. What's up Flaming Hills? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I guess I can see that. There's something to be said for convenience. There's a little to be said for convenience. Soul of a Weary Warrior, actually, I want to read that. Soul found in the corpse of a battle weary warrior. Let the Firekeeper transform this. Oh, okay. Um, I, uh, I have reservations right now about the linearity of this game. Right now, even this far, it seems a lot more linear than Dark Souls 1. That's bugging me. But, the individual areas themselves are very well designed. Like, I'm enjoying them a lot. They have a lot of, um... They have a lot of good loops, and some of them are very interesting and have a lot of secret, like kind of secret spots and so on. So the individual areas are great, but the game as a whole is kind of funneling me through a single pass path. Huh? Oh God, no! God. What? It's been relatively little branching. I mean, I went down to Smoldering Lake, and then I went up here. Sure. Now I guess I went to Cathedral of the Deep. Instead of going to um, Road of Sacrifice and Farron Woods. Okay. Still, it's like... There's a main trunk of the game, and from the trunk, a few branches go off to the sides. But it's not like... It's still not like Dark Souls 1. It's not as open. Like... How long does it take to get a, a large weapon? Whoop! Never mind, we got more important things. Oh, this guy's gonna destroy me. Look at this old man Frost over here. That's not how Dark Souls 1 was. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. For example, there's two main bells in Dark Souls 1 that you have to do first. That's a choke point. You have to do both the bells, and then there's Sense Fortress and Anorlando. That's a choke point. But the areas before that, and the order that you do them in, is fairly open. There's an old man winters everywhere here. I keep missing items because they just look like the pretty lights everywhere. Yeah, but it was several branches off of Fire Link. Then again, if this is still considered this game's beginning, then geez. This is a pretty big game. This can't this has to be in the midpoint of the game. There's or or some somewhere near the middle. I guess I don't want to know really. That didn't work at all. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. 
Do I need to get really good at parrying all of a sudden? <laughs> I tried to baseball bat it and it didn't work at all. 10.30. Those are those are facts. They say, God, I missed this too. Or are these respawning? Or, or no, I don't think so. You know what? That Pontus right eye business. Those guys do those consecutive attacks. That's why. That's why they get those rings. Yeah, I can see. I can. I can maybe see that. These guys are pretty hard. Don't get this. Oh, there's two of them. Garbage. Another one around here somewhere, right? One guy rushed me. One guy like rushed me in the face. That's where he is. Five hits. Shut up. Because it's light. Which maybe isn't a good enough reason. Yeah, so now I know that there are two guys there and I can at least bait them that way, but. I'll find out about him later, I guess. Is it possible to parry these? I'm so dead. Is that six hits? I don't know about that read, so that seems pretty inaccessible. What's up, arrogant desperado? Alright, we're going to try and learn to parry these guys. I'm going to spend a little bit of time. I'm probably not going to get very far, and I need to go to bed anyway pretty soon. Hey, buddy. Low hits, fast hits. These guys got everything. You kill me right at my bonfire. This is gonna be very hard to parry them. Oh man. <laughs> sure, sick pirate, sure. Yeah, I guess I deserve that. These guys are interesting. 
I'm fascinated by whatever that is. I don't know what I did. I doubt I can replicate it. Slash played? That wasn't a parry, I don't know what was. I I just don't I, I don't understand the parrying in this game. Oh, I guess I can just look at my menu, right? I'll tell you. Twenty eight. Jeez, they have so many different... man oh my god what is this oh my god ty i have to feed my baby i have to I have to feed my baby <laughs> the timing what's up ty oh my god well i guess i'll be up for a little bit more cathedral knight greatsword the dude no. Oh crap, did I aggro them both? Very weird. Get bent. I'll do that at least. Well, I've used at least one Estus on every one of these guys so far, so we're off to a great start. I'm going to have to be able to beat these guys pretty consistently if I'm going to make it anywhere in this area. This thing is a really... It's got good damage and a pretty good moveset. Well, that's an okay moveset. I kind of wanted the horizontal swings for the two-handed R1s, but I'll take these. Um, it's got a nice thrust. That's good. Um, rolling R1.